Good evening, everyone, and welcome to week five of your Friday Night Football Frenzy. And boy, what a great night it was. Brought to you by WVUP and Athena Buick GMC. I am your host, Ryan Wilson, and for the first time this season, I am joined by WTAP's newest sports anchor, Josiah Schooneman. Josiah, welcome to the Mid-Ohio Valley, and we can't wait for you to get started. Thanks, Ryan. I I'm so glad to be here, and I'm more than excited to get started. You know, we had some great football games tonight, so ready to check it out. Well, I would say you got here at the right time. Probably the biggest game of the season happened tonight at Stadium Field. The renewing of the Crosstown Showdown. These two teams met for the 56th time in program history. Parkersburg hosting Parkersburg South. The two teams meet at midfield. We're ready to go. Let's get started on the first play from scrimmage. Turner Garrettson rolls to his left. Lobs a short pass to Devin Forsey, and he turns on the Ooh. afterburners. Nobody is going to catch him. That's an 80-yard touchdown to open yeah. things up. South leads it 8 to nothing. Big Reds, though, respond. David Parsons fakes the handoff and finds Casey Stanley on the slant. He finds a seam, and he takes it all the way for the score. Big Reds trail, though, 8 to 6 after a blocked extra point. South will get it in the red zone. And on a fourth down, they find Gage Wright on a little screen, weaving his way through some tackles, Ooh. and he reaches across there on the dive. Touchdown Patriots. They lead it 14 to 6. Now the Big Reds have it. It's kind of a broken play here, but Parsons cuts back on the run. He's got some blockers downfield going down the right sideline, and he's pushed Ooh. into the end zone for just the touchdown. A they trail just by a point. First play of the second quarter. Garrettson hands it to Gage Wright. Nice move. Breaks some tackles. Cuts to the left sideline. Got a few blockers in front of him. Tiptoes. Goes across. He could Whoa. go all oh. the way. Sheds the last tackler there. Yes, he's in. South leads it 21 to 13. But the Big Reds would come back and take the lead here. Parsons finds Anthony Ice on a little screen pass. He's got some blockers. He's got some speed. 34 hey. yards for the touchdown. Parkersburg lead at 27 and 21 at the half. And this wild game was one for the history books. Parkersburg emerges victorious as they get the win over Parkersburg South. 43 to 35. And as a reminder, you can catch a replay of tonight's crazy Crosstown Showdown game. It starts in just a few minutes over on our WOVA Fox Parkersburg station. It starts at 11.30. Josiah, try and follow that. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's head out to Ellenboro as the Williamstown Yellow Jackets are taking on the Ritchie County Rebels. Maxwell Melissa hands it off to Cooper Martin and on the jet sweep. He finds the end zone. Williamstown up 8-0 early. Later in the first quarter, Melissa throws a screen pass out to running back Lincoln Joy. He gets a few good blocks downfield as he weaves through the Rebels defense all the way to the house. That makes it 16 0 Yellow Jackets just before the end of the first. It's Joy again this time in the running Ooh. game as he trucks a defender for another touchdown. 23 0 going into the second. Ritchie County trying to make something happen as Turner Shriver throws, but Cooper oh. Martin gets the easy interception and he's not done. He takes it all the way back for a pick six to extend the lead to 30 0. Celebration with his teammates, but wait. He's still not done. Oh Moments my. later, Shriver throws it to his right again, and it's yet oh. another Martin pick. Once again, he has room to work with, and he's going to score another touchdown. No, this is not a replay. Not a replay. A second pick six makes it 44 0. Just an avalanche here. Wow. Late in the half, Maxwell Melissa takes the snap. He will take it all Ooh. by himself down the sideline for the score. Williamstown improves to 4 0 as they get a win over Ritchie County. 67 to 8. Well, let's head across the river. A new Twin States League rivalry as the Fort Frank Cadets were hosting the Warren Warriors. Points were uh, hard to come by in this one. So let's start with Fort Frank quarterback Sebastian Huck. Runs an option play to his running back Ross Schulteis who makes a strong move for being taken down by a group of Warriors after the Cadets were punted away to the Warriors. Here's Jacob Seeley throws it over the middle, but oh. it's intercepted by the cornerback playing some linebacker there. Sebastian Huck gets the pick. Still no score. We move on to the second quarter. Warren quarterback Jacob Seeley keeps it himself on the quarterback draw. Gets the fourth down conversion as he picks up the first down on the next play. Seeley drops back. Finds Tanner Ooh. Pepper on the slant. He tries to get inside the red zone for another first down. The Warriors will be faced with another fourth down, though, on this drive. And then Pepper tries to get some space, but he is going to be stopped oh. just short of the goal line. Just short. There's more scoring in the second half, though. The Cadets improve to 5-0 as they get the win over Warren, 16-7. And over at Don Drum Stadium, the Marietta Tigers were at home taking on the Ripley Vikings. We'll start with some defense as the Vikings take the snap. 
Roll out to the left, looking for an open receiver, but he will not find him as he's taken wow. down hard by Blake Hills. What a hit there. Now the Marietta offense gets it going with a nice chunk play for the Tigers from the legs of Skyler Boom. Adams. Nice run there. Run there. Adam, yes, this time Zane Whittakin gets free from a would-be tackler and outruns Vikings defenders, and he will find the end zone. That will make Look it 43 to three, Marietta. Oh my goodness. We have one more defensive highlight. The Vikings look to run right, but Braxton Lane, he's going to wrap them up behind oh, the line of scrimmage. Tackle. Tigers roll to a win, beating the Vikings 43 to three. Well, that was a great first block, but stay with us. There's a lot more ahead on Football Frenzy including the Waterford Wildcats as they were on the road in a playoff rematch against the Eastern Eagles.